my video tutorial and we are continuing to make the rose so we have made on my previous video tutorials we have made the center of the rose flower so now we are going to make the petals so starting at any loop we will hook the first stitch on the single crochet any single crochet over ring so we do that and then catch the tail of the yarn and then we are going to crochet over this yarn tail so draw up a loop to begin a stitch and pull up another loop and the first loop that was pulled up, we mark this as the beginning of the round. The second counts as a single crochet. Then four double crochets on the chain five loop. So that's one double crochet, two, three, four, and then single crochet, one rose petal is made, single crochet on the next loop, and then repeat making four double crochets over the chain five loop. So that's one, two, three, four, then single crochet on the same loop and repeat. So keep repeating the same set of stitches until the end of the round and I'll meet you at the end of this round. After completing the last petal, then slip stitch on the mark stitch this is the end of round one of making the flower petals to begin the second round we chain two one two and insert hook on the back of the petal between the two double crochets and over the previous chain five loop that's hidden underneath and make a single crochet there and this is the beginning single crochet so we are going to mark it as the beginning of the round chain four one two three four and insert hook behind the petal and make a single crochet between the double crochet of the next petal then repeat chain four one two three four and insert hook behind the flower petal between the two double crochets and make a single crochet so keep repeating and I'll show you how the round ends after the last chain four, then we slip stitch on the mark stitch. So we have made a foundation for the flower petal, and that's the way it looks at the back. So we start the flower petal by making single crochet. Then six double crochet on the chain four space. We have made two double crochets. This is the third, four, five, and six. 
15 single crochet on the same space and we make one flower petal then repeat single crochet on the next chain pull loop or space then six double crochets so that was one two three four five six and single crochet another flower petal is made so keep repeating the same stitches and I will meet you at the end of the round. The round ends with a single crochet of the last petal. To begin the next round, we chain three. One, two, three. And just like we did before, we are going to insert the hook between the double crochet at the middle of the petal so there's actually between the set of three double crochets right there going from behind the petal and over the previous chain four and we will mark the single crochet that we just made as the beginning of the round. We are making the foundation for the next flower petal. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and insert hook between the two double crochets in the middle of the flower petal and over the previous chain four loop make a single crochet and repeat chain five one two three four five and insert hook behind the flower petal between the two double crochets and over the previous chain four loop and repeat chain five one two three four five and insert hook behind the petal between the two double crochets and over the previous chain four loop and repeat chain five one two three four five and insert hook between the two double crochets in the middle of the next flower petal and over the previous chain four loop that's the way it looks so keep repeating and i'll meet you at the end of this round after the last chain five of the round then we slip a stitch on the mark single crochet and this is the end of this round then we make the flower petal we start with making single crochet on the next chain five loop then we will make seven double crochets on the same chain five loop so that's one double crochets two double crochet three four five six seven and single crochet on the same space and we completed one flower petal so repeat single crochet on the next space and seven double crochets one two three 
four, five, six, seven, and single crochet to complete the flower petal and keep repeating the same set of stitches until the end of the round. I'll meet you there. So the round ends with a single crochet at the end of the rose petal. I'm already out of yarn and so this is the end and so for future reference this is small 45 yard skein makes two roses and that's the way it looks i thank you all for watching and please watch my next video on how i'm going to put these leaves and rose together